Hey guys, it's Jenny here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my October TBR. I have 12 books for you guys um, that I kind of want to focus on for the month of October. Um, yeah, I do not have high hopes to finish all of these because it is, again, already October 6th. So yeah, there's that. But yeah. I'm pretty excited for my October TBR. I have a lot of great books on here that I am just pretty excited to either get into or finish. Let's just hop right into this TBR. The first book I have on my stack is You Only Love Me When I'm Suffering by John Lupin, and this is a poetry collection. And yeah, it basically speaks for itself. It's a book about, you know toxic people and stuff like that and it sounds right up my alley and I'm actually really excited to read this. I, as you guys know, have been getting a lot more into poetry lately. For example, I may or may not have just ordered three more poetry books and bought two more at Barnes & Noble. I mean, who knows? <laughs> so next, I have The Truth About Magic by Atticus. This is his third novel, his third poetry collection. And I am super excited for this one. This is his third novel and I'm so excited for this. I've been like really getting on myself not to pick it up because I wanted to wait until October and I just spoiled the next book for you. So the next book is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. So I don't actually know anything about this. I have heard that it's better to go into this blind. I have heard that this is better to go into blind. All I know about it is that it's about a nanny who I think she is in jail for killing one of the kids that she was supposed to be watching out for, but she didn't commit the crime. So I'm not really sure like what the actual plot line is, but I've heard that it's best not to really know what's going on because it'll shock you more in the end. So I got this recommendation from Lala's channel over at Books and Lala. You know, Kayla, everyone knows her. So, yes. I just realized that my mom stole all my ghost books. Salty? What? That's rude. I was going to talk about those. <laughs> Next, I have Fireblood by Ellie Blake. This is book two in the Far Frostblood series. This is about a girl named Ruby who has fire running through her veins in a world full of frost blood rulers so yeah this is book two i'm really excited to get into this i plan to listen to this on audio through my library great fun great fun next is ash princess by laura sebastian i tried to start this last month and i did not get very far in it but i do still want to pick this up i have this on audio through scribd and basically it's about a girl named Theodosia who was six when her country was invaded and her mother was murdered. So ever since then she becomes a slave to the new tyrant king. And he makes her do something that pushes her over her limits and she basically wants to regain her throne. So yes, I definitely want to get to this. I just picked up the sequel at Goodwill a week ago. So now that I have it, I want to get around to that and try to eliminate the books that I have on my TBR and just keep plowing through them. So next, I have Five Dark Fates by Kendar Blake. This is the fourth and final book in the Queens of Fenburn series or the Three Dark Crown series. I absolutely love this series. And ever since book three left off on a cliffhanger, I've been anxiously awaiting this book. So I'm so excited that it's finally here and that it's finally October so I can read it. I've been holding off on this one hardcore. Um, ever since I got it, I like wanted to pick it up. But now it's finally October and I can get around to it. And oh my god, I just forgot about a book that I have to read in October. I actually just forgot about two books. How can I do that? That's just criminal. Wow. I literally almost forgot and now this TBR is even bigger now. So rest in peace to me, right? So next I have Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. This is a new release and all I'm going to read is the back because I've heard again that this is best to go in blind. Ooh, Sarah J Mass blurred this. 
So it says, a witch and a witch hunter bound in holy matrimony. There was only one way such a story could end. A stake and a match. And I have been hearing fantastic reviews about this book. And ever since I've been seeing all these booktubers hype it up, I just want, been wanting to pick it up. And it honestly sounds right up my alley and it sounds like a perfect read for fall. So I got it at Barnes & Noble the other day. Also, another thriller is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. Again, I have no idea what this is about. I'm pretty sure that Kayla read this one as well. I think it might be about a woman who they're like on a cruise ship and she either witnesses a murder or something's going on with this woman in Cabin 10. And yeah, there's no like descriptions on the back of this. So I have no idea what it's truly about, but it's a thriller and it's October. So I'm going to hopefully get around to it. Next is Dead Pirate Arcanist by Shami Stavall. This is book two in the Frith Chronicles. Um, this book is an arc sent to me by review from the author. And I cannot be more excited to get into this. Yeah, like I said, this is book two. I read the first book in the series in, I think, August. So I am definitely excited to get back into this and see um, Shami's writing, you know, evolve with the series. Can't wait to see what she's going to do to these characters. Ah. <laughs> Next, I have a reread, which is Haunting, Haunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. This is book two in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. So the first time I read this, I read it on audio and I hated it. And I and that really kind of made me sad because I love this series. And I actually know that this is so many people's favorite book of, in the series so far. So I'm going to reread it physically this time and see what I think of it. <coughs> <coughs> Plus, I want to do a reread of the series before I get into Capturing the Devil. So, yes, this month I will be rereading Hunting Prince Dracula. And I'm really excited to be back in the world. Like I said, book two. This is set in Romania. Right? Right. Yeah, Romania. So, yeah. Next, the book I almost forgot about. Sorry, I have to put the natural dust jacket on it because it just makes it seem more real for me. Although my custom book jacket is gorgeous. So, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. This is book two in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And this is our October pick for my Massathon that I host with Melissa over at Sassy Ginger Book Obsession. Um, and I am literally so excited to get back into this book. I could literally cry. This is my favorite in the series. And... <sighs> I'm so pumped, guys. Holy cow. This is my favorite, and I'm so happy that I can finally stop putting off reading it. There have been so many times where I wanted to pick this up throughout the year, and I was like, no, Jenna, just wait until the fall when you can read a Avatar book every month. So I've waited, I've been patient, and now the month is finally here when I can read A Court of Mist and Fury. <sighs> deep breaths and I'm so excited like guys this book is already like so worn out it's uh it's seen some damage so yeah I'm gonna show you guys my custom book jacket too that Melissa sent me because it is so beautiful and I absolutely adore it ah! you have the inner circle that's nothing this is a quote this one says, no one was my master, but I might be the master of everything if I wish, if I dared. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. I'm so excited for that book. So now we have a couple of books I want to finish. Ooh, actually that one I haven't even started. <laughs> Whoops. So the first one is Wilder Girls by Rory Powers. I started this in September and I got to page 135, but I started working and I wasn't able to keep up with my reading schedule, so I never got around to finishing it. But I definitely want to do that this month. It'll probably be one of the things that I do first thing. There are a couple that I'm going to prioritize above others. But yes, this is one of them that I want to do first. Just because I'm already a good dent of the way in it. I'm already almost halfway through it. So yes, if you guys don't know, all I'm going to say is 
gender bent lord of the flies it's kind of like this apoco not apocalyptic i would say like dystopian kind of thing where all these girls on this island have a different disease that causes different side effects so next i have a reread of the cruel prince by holly black yeah don't let this bookmark fool you i did not start it um yeah i definitely didn't so <laughs> Um, yeah. I want to reread this because, again, I'm going to explain it again. I tried to read The Cruel Prince, or I mean The Wicked King in August, and I waited too long to read it, and by the time I got around to it, I realized that I did not remember who half the characters were, and when I looked them up, I kept getting spoilers. So now I know half the things that happened in Wicked King, because... Thanks, Danielle. She spoiled something for me that I actually did not know. Um, so I'm just going to read Cruel Prince and read uh, Wicked King next month. Spoiler alert for my uh, November TBR. And The Queen of Nothing comes out in the middle of the month of November. So I'm going to read that in December. Fun, right? Yeah. Cruel Prince. Everyone knows what that's about. It's about a human girl living in the Fey realm who like literally just wants to please everyone. Um... And yeah, she gets picked on a lot, basically. She falls in love with the coolest prince. Carden. Yeah, lovely. Lastly, I have Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. You guys can't even shake your head at me this time because it's not like I have to read the full thing. I am literally already on page 360. I just have to have finished the last 100 pages of this. So I definitely plan to do this this month. I have this on audio. So this is going to go super fast for me. Probably only like two hours left in this. So, I'm going to finish Six of Crows, finally, once and for all. And the only other thing I have on my t agenda this month is to annotate <sighs> the last three Throne of Glass books in A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, I'm actually going to be incorporating that into my reading schedule so I don't just push it aside. So, this month is going to be um, a lot, <laughs> for one. I truly don't know how I'm going to fit all these books in, but I have a feeling that audiobooking is going to get me very far in life um, because I have discovered that some of the girls at work actually put headphones in when they're doing their jobs alone. So any job, any day that I have and I'm scheduled like alone on the floor, I can literally just pop my headphones in and I can listen to an audiobook. Boom. Problems solved. And so, yeah, that's what I kind of plan to do. Again, I really don't think that all of these are going to get completed. I mean, it's just hard to look at them, though, and, like, know that some of these books aren't going to get read because I want to read, like, all of them. So, it's definitely going to be some picking and choosing. Hey, guys. So, this is editing me, and I am just now realizing that I never closed out this video, um, which is kind of weird for me for TBR, but um, I got kind of busy. Um, <clears throat> and there are a couple more books that I, excuse me, that I'm adding to my TBR, including Hello City by Ransom Riggs, uh, which is book two in the Miss Peregrine series. I just want to reread this before I read Map of Days. Room by Emma Donahue which is like a kidnapping slash rape story about a girl who gets kidnapped and ends up birthing a child with her kidnapper. Um, and then I have House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin Craig, which is a 12 Dancing Princesses retelling. So, yes, that is my October TBR. Um, so, in total, there are 16 books. Um, it's already like October 11th right now. So there's 16 books after I've already read a couple. Um, originally there were 21. So there are a couple that I did not show you guys. Um, there's to drink coffee with a ghost. I put Arusha on the end of time on there. I put four dead queens on there. So yeah, it's a big TBR, but honestly, I have six for audio, eight physical, and two that I haven't decided on yet. So, I'm going to start bringing books to work because I do get 30 minute lunch breaks. So, whenever I get those breaks, I will pop open a book and read. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time for a new video.